I will be getting everything in the update 20 by any means necessary, like spending my life savings on this mammoth. And with that, we have unlocked one of the items in this update. And now all we need to do is get all the moves for this fruit. Z move. Oh, this Z move is pretty nice. We got the X move. Oh, it's like a charge. Okay, okay. Oh, we got the C move. Oh, it's basically like the X move, but it slams him down too. All right, I'm gonna fight the Captain Elephant now. Elephant versus Extinct Elephant. And the Extinct Elephant wins. And with that, we have unlocked the F move. Yo, this move is sick. Imagine this 10,000 pound mammoth dropping onto you like this. Okay, so we have gotten four moves so far. And before I get the mammoth transformation, I really wanna check out the sound fruit. <laughs> All right, let's level this up. X move. Ooh, it's like a beam type thing. C move. Yo, it's a disco ball. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Oh wait, what is this building? It has ladders. Who is this guy? Oh, I can enchant, but I need scrolls. And I don't have any scrolls. <laughs> Problem solved. Now we have the scrolls. All right, let's enchant. Oh, 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 we're getting a lot of things. Oh, unreal. Cooldowns are 25% shorter, but damage is decreased by 30%. Mm, that doesn't sound that good. Ah, screw it, we'll come back to this later. But for now, let's just grind our sound fruit. Oh, we got the F move. Ooh, this flight is pretty nice. It also fills up my tempo meter. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, what is this? Safi? I lack a cold heart? What does that mean? I guess we should come back to this later. But before that, I really want to explore the sea. And after exploring the sea, we will get the mammoth transformation and the last move of sound. So, spawn the boats. Yo, we got a whole fleet. Dude, these ships look cool. Oh, sea beast, get them. Oh my God, the sea beast is getting melted. Wow, that was easier than ever. Terror shark, what is this? Oh god, it's strong. What is happening? I can't see anything. Why does his health keep going up and down? Oh, I got a mutant tooth. And terror eyes. No clue what that is used for, but maybe we'll find out later. Oh, it turned dark. Oh, what, what are these? Piranhas? Die. After that, I didn't even realize how much time I had spent on the sea. But I did get a lot of things that we would later need for crafting the most important items, like this shield right here, which basically lets you take no damage. Just imagine, you're a human race swimming like the shark race, but I don't have it right now, so I can't really do that. But to get it, I still need 30 of these blue things. And right now, I have no clue how to get them. Maybe we'll find out later. But for now, I will just focus on getting the last move on my sound proof. Boom, we got the B move. All right, let's check it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, this move is crazy. Well, that completes our sound fruit. Now, let's get the mammoth transformation. Oh, we still need one more mastery. All right, I'll kill this NPC for it. And we got it. Transform. Yo, this transformation is crazy. All right, let's check out all the moves. These are the M1s. It's like the leopard fruit M1s where you do like a roar at the end. All right, Z move. All right, this is the X move. Oh, again, just like the base move, but way, way better. And this is the C move. Okay, the slam is much bigger. And the F move. Oh my God, this move is actually terrifying. POV, you did not subscribe. Oh my God, look at him running. He's definitely not subscribed. So subscribe, so this doesn't happen to you. All right, now that we are done with this, we should start with the next item, which is the shark tooth necklace, for which we obviously need shark teeth, which we can get from shark. And the second item that we have to get is this terror jaw, for which we need shark teeth and fool's gold, which we can get from this ghost ship that I found before. And for the third item, we need to unlock the first two. So let's start the grind. Oh, yo, ghost ship, sink. Oh, we got enough fool's gold for the terror jaw. Nice, nice, nice. I spent a lot of time on the sea and got everything I needed. Okay, so I didn't get enough shark teeth. So I can either craft the terror jaw or the shark necklace. 
Hmm. You know what? We will get more shark teeth using this. Let's see what buffs it gives. Okay, so it gives 50% faster run speed, plus 10 dash distance, and 25% more damage to sea events. That will actually help a lot. I think I made the right decision here. Okay, then. Let's go back to grinding more shark teeth. Okay, so I spent a lot of time on the ocean and managed to kill zero sharks. I have no clue what my brain was doing, but either ways, Uzoth came in and spawned a bunch of sharks. Oh, yo, where are these coming from? The sharks have made it to land. I 100 sharks versus one mammoth. Rawr! The mammoth wins. And we also got a lot of shark teeth from that. All right, then let's craft this terror jaw. Oh, this looks so scuffed on me, but let's see what it gives. 10% more damage on sword, 10% cooldown reduction, 20% defense against sea events, and 200 health and energy. Honestly, I think I like the shark necklace better. So I'm just gonna keep using that then. Anyways, let's check out what the third item is. Monster magnet? Let's craft it. What is this? I thought it was like a weapon or something, but it's just an item? Yeah, you can get shark anchor with that. Huh? You're me? Yes, I am you, but smarter. Oh, anyways, for the shark anchor, you have to find a terror shark with an anchor on his tail. Oh, oh, how do I find that? You can find it in the sea. It should have more health than a normal terror shark. Ah, I see. Thanks for the help. Good luck. Did that guy just disappear? Well, whatever, I guess. Let's sail then. Oh, terror shark. But it doesn't have an anchor on his tail. This isn't it. Oh, another one. But it also doesn't have any anchor on his tail. This isn't it either. Oh, another one. But this one also doesn't have it. Does it even exist? Did that guy lie to me? Is this monster magnet used for something else? Oh, another one. Wait, wait. Oh, this one has it. Wait, this one has the anchor. This one has the anchor. It also has more health. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. We just got the shark anchor. Oh man, this sword looks clean. And also it took away my monster magnet, so there's that. Newbie. Ozot. The anchor's looking real nice. Yeah, I just got it. You want some help grinding for it? Oh yeah, sure, of course. All right, let's go. I then grinded a lot of levels with Uzod. Just look at all these levels. So satisfying. And now you have gotten all the moves. So let's check them out. Z move. It's like a dough C move, but you throw them and create a tornado. That's sick. X move. Ooh, it's like a grab. You could definitely pull some crazy combos with this. Anyways, the only thing that we are missing now is how to get these blue things for crafting all these items. And what does this NPC do? And how to get a cold heart? You can get them both from the Leviathan. Huh? It spawns in danger level six and you need five people for it. Oh, I see. And make sure to use the beast hunter's harpoon for the cold heart. Beast Hunter, good luck. What? I mean, I don't know what a Beast Hunter is, but I think we could figure that out. Wait, what is that ship? Wait, there's a harpoon on this. Oh, this is the Beast Hunter. Oh, there's already people on the ship. Oh, Terror Shark. Oh, they're outrunning it. Wow, they just skipped the Terror Shark. These guys are not messing around. They're going straight for the Leviathan. Oh. Frozen dimension? Oh, it's the Leviathan! Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Where's the frozen heart? Oh, I have to get these parts first. Uh, why am I dealing no damage? What is happening? Oh, we can damage his main body. Take that, Leviathan. Oh, we got him, we got him. Oh, there's a the frozen heart. Oh, I see what we gotta do. Okay, let's hook it. Let's go! Yo, we got the frozen heart. All right, let's bring this back now. Oh, Terror Shark. This isn't the best time. We have to make sure that our ship doesn't sink now or else we will lose our frozen heart. Also, I just realized that we got those blue thingies that we needed for crafting the other accessories. Also, I should stop calling them blue thingies. They're Leviathan scales, not blue thingies. All right, we're here. Obtain Leviathan heart. All right, let's give this to Safi now. Bring me 20 demonic wisps, 20 vampire fangs, two dark fragments Bro, we still need more well i guess let's farm this oh we need 10 more we finally got enough demonic wisp now we need to get the vampire fangs and we got it oh my god that took forever and now all that is left is to go to the third sea and give this to Safi. 
There we go. Would you like to learn the sanguine art fighting style? Of course. Let's learn it. And now we have the sanguine art. Yo, look at these M1s. Dude, this is sick. All right, let's farm this. We got the Z-move. Oh, it's like a grab thing. Okay, okay, let's see this in action. Yo, it also life seals. I gained like 2k health. Oh, combine this with shadow. And we are full health. Oh my god, this fighting style is crazy. All right, let's get the next moves. All right, we got the X-move too. Let's try it. It's like a ranged claw scratch. All right, let's see it in action. X-move. Mm, this move isn't anything that crazy, actually. It's also got a pretty short range. Anyways, let's get the C move now. Okay, so I kind of got bored with just grinding the Sanguine Art. So, I'm actually going to try to enchant my Shark Anchor first. And to do that, I have to first upgrade it from the Blacksmith. For which, we need 3 more Mystical Droplets and 18 more Scrap Metals. So, let's go to the second C for the Mystical Droplets. Grinding with Mammoth is so fun. But anyways, we got the 5 mystical droplets that we needed. And now, we just need the scrap metals. So, let's go to the first C for this. Man, that was fun to grind. Anyways, we got everything we need. Now, let's upgrade this. There we go. And now, let's enchant this. Agile, Deadly, Fortune, Lucky, Natural, Sharp, Siphon, Unbreakable, Frozen. Oh, we got a blessing. This looks clean on this anchor. All right, let's test out what it does. Oh, it slows them down. Oh, they are way slower. Oh my god, they can't even run. This is actually OP. Anyways, now that I'm done with the shark anchor, I will now get the last move of Sanguine Art. There we got it. All right, let's try it. Ooh, what is this? I need to check that out again. Okay, so I create an orb, and it explodes and hits everything? That's actually really cool. Well, that completes our Sanguine Art 2. We should move on to our last goal, which is crafting everything this guy has to offer. The Leviathan Crown. The Leviathan Shield, which I really, really want. And lastly, the Beast Hunter. I want to get all of these, but I really want to get the Leviathan Shield first. So, let's get this first. All right. Oh, that took a while to grind. But I think we have enough now. Let's check. Bro, we need two more. We still need one more Leviathan. Well, I guess let's just search for another one. Oh, there goes the ship. Oh my god, why is this not spawning? All right, third time's the charm. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, we definitely have more than enough now. Let's see. Yup. Let's craft it. And we got it. Ooh, this looks clean on me. All right, let me show you why I really wanted this. You see, I am human race. And I'm swimming. This is actually OP for me. Not only that, but it also gives more buffs. Like 15% defense against melee, sword and gun attacks, 30% defense against sea events, and 1250 health. I think this might just be the best accessory. But anyways, we still have to craft the Leviathan crown and the beast hunter boat. So let's grind more Leviathans. Alright, we have enough for the Leviathan crown. Got the crown. This looks pretty weird on me. Okay, so this gives 12% more damage on melee attacks, 30% more damage to sea events, 25% increased health regen, and 40% higher drop chance, and one extra instinct dodge. Whoa, that's a lot of buffs. But I think I'll still use the seal for now. Let's farm more Leviathans for the last goal, which is the Beast Hunter Boat. Oh my god! again I didn't even get one Leviathan for the past eight hours eight hours this is actually absurd what am I doing wrong after many more failed attempts I finally got my last Leviathan finally oh man I'm for real crying our last Leviathan oh we got everything we need now let's make our way back all right 
Let's finally craft this. You're kidding me. I need another Leviathan for just one scale? Bro. <laughs> finally, this time, for real, it's our last Leviathan. Finally, I finally have enough. That took everything out of me. Let's craft this. Our last goal. Let's go. Finally. Oh man, I have no more energy in me. But now we finally have this boat with a harpoon on it. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably like these ones too. So go watch them now. Subscribe so you can get infinite luck on the Leviathans. Bye.